it's me, Shashria, and today I'm going to be talking about the two type of energies, Potentic, kinetic energy and potential energy. Let's start with kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy of motion, and there are many ways to describe it, such as many formulas. So let's get into it. Our first one is F equals ma, as you can see here. Net force will move an object with mass with acceleration. Con continuing on with that, we can go to W equals FD. Work equals force times distance. And now because of that, we must add MA with the distance, the mass acceleration times its distance. So, work is equal to force times distance and mass acceleration times its distance. So since there is force with all of it, we can just say that W equals mass acceleration times its distance. Now there is the kinematic equation that we use to clarify it. We must find AD, acceleration times its distance. And your thing is VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2AD. 2AD two, two we must take as a simple AD. So we take that, the A, on one side. So it becomes VF squared minus VI squared because you bring the VI squared to the other side by 2. That's what's equal to AD. Acceleration times distance. And now a half of mass velocity squared is equal to kinetic energy of an equation. Now let's move on to potential energy. Potential energy is the energy of location. Now let's take a quick example because potential energy will be forever intertwined with kinetic energy. So let's take the sun and earth and its other planets for example. All the planets revolve around the sun. They're using kinetic energy to move because kinetic energy, once again, is the energy of motion or energy of moving. But the sun itself is static, it's still. So the sun is using potential energy to stay still. And we can even use that as, what if work was positive? It is on, based on the system. The work is done on the system. But if the work was negative, the work would be based by, and the work would be done by the system. We can also use a lot of many different examples. For example, let's use a rubber band and paper. I have a paper and I set it on the rubber band itself. You see the paper is gonna move. It just moved and fell down, but when they even release the rubber band, it's out of sight because it uses kinetic energy to move. You can also use another example with a swinging ball. First, let me explain it with the diagram. It's gonna have potential energy staying still when it's at the form of A. When it swings towards B, it's gonna gain its kinetic energy. But as it goes back to its form of C, it's gonna have the zero the potential energy will come back. So let me show it to you. So it's at the form of A, but I'm swinging it. So when it's going back from A to B to C, it's gaining potential energy and having its, po and having its potential energy and moving with the kinetic energy. But no matter what the mass of the object is, the energy will be the same. For example, this was a bigger ball, but let's say we use a football eraser. You see the mass is way different, but it still goes. A is potential, now it's going to be back to C. But another thing, think about it if I let go of it. So I have the ball itself, right? And I'm lifting it up. The height will, 
it's increasing its potential energy because it's going upwards. So the height will make the kinetic energy come down faster. See, I let go of it. So whether it's a gravitational field or an electric, electric magnetic field, electromagnetic field, or any other field, the energy will be in the same way. Still and static, using potential energy, moving as energy of motion with kinetic energy. And we use this in our everyday lives. I'm moving right now because I have kinetic energy. And I'm standing still right now because I have the staticness, the potential energy. So this energy can be used every single day. Like I just moved my hand, kinetic energy, but now there's still potential energy. So it's really neat how energy could be used in many different ways. But how to measure this? Joules is used for every single energy, no matter what it is. And one joule is equal to one kilogram by meter square. So this is how we measure in science with a joule. So this is how we're gonna measure kinetic energy and have fun with kinetic energy and potential everyday thing energy in our everyday lives and using it in our everyday lives. Okay guys, so if you have questions, put them in the comments. I'd love to answer them. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like. Have a good time, see you soon. Bye guys.